Hello my handsome and sexy dude bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a review about this one, Polo Ralph Lauren Blue Eau de Toilette. Yes, the old one, I have smelled the new one, it's shit, I don't like it at all. Can't really remember how that one smells, so that's not good, but I've never smelled the old version of this one, so um, let's see. So this fragrance has been sent to me by Max Aroma. I also got a discount code for you guys. It is CRLY10 for a 10% off. Now my opinions are my own. I don't have to talk good about this fragrance. You can use the code on whatever you want to use it. And um, let's see what I think of it. All right, gentlemen. So grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position. And let's get into it. Okay. Nice. So this is how the box looks. Simple, clean, but it has a more different feeling on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit, I don't know, stubble-ish. Not that important. Let's see how the bottle looks. Oh, I like it. This is how the bottle looks. It is see-through, so you can see where the juice is. That's what I like. This is the shit I do, like bang bang. And this is the cap. Hey, focus on me, bitch. Focus, focus, focus on them tits. Okay, not, oh, you see? My camera wants to focus on the tits. Okay, so sprayer like this. It's nice, it's white, good sprayer. Let's see how it smells. Uh, simple guys cologne, simple fresh guys cologne, but it is good. I enjoy these type of a colognes in uh, in the summer a lot. It also reminds me a little bit of cucumbers. I wouldn't say it smells like a typical blue fragrance because that to me smells more like a shower gel. This smells more like green. It would fit more if this bottle would have a green see-through bottle. It is like citrusy, green. Aromatic, fresh, that's what it is. Fresh out of the shower, you want to smell clean, you want to smell nice, that's this. I like it a lot. I really enjoy these type of fragrances off a man in the summer, so you can't go wrong with it. If it is it like mind-blowing, like, oh my God, it's such a good fragrance. No, not that, but it is enjoyable in the summer. For a summer fragrance, now smell-wise, I would easily give it like a seven. That's how good I think it is. Yeah, really nice. Can't really compare it to another fragrance, although it smells familiar. But it's not like it's a clone of anything. It's just good. Yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it settle down for two hours on my skin and then come back with the full review and everything that you need to know about this fragrance. So be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right, guys, and I am back. So it has been two hours that Polo Blue has been sitting on my skin right now. And it got even better, but it's not like a super good fragrance or anything. Not, not like that, but it's just good. <laughs> Let me see what the notes are of this fragrance. And for the guys who are like, what have you never had polo fragrances? No, they're not. They were not popular in Europe or in Holland. In Holland, we don't really have polo fragrances. Also, Carolina Herrera is not popular in Holland. Uh, oh, hey, <laughs> I was right with the cucumbers that I got from this one. Okay, so in the top notes, you're gonna get cucumber, melon, and mandarin orange. Cucumber and melon and orange is what I get. Middle notes, you're gonna get basil, sage, and geranium. Basil, I do get like a weird green vibe from it. Basil, I don't like in fragrances actually, but not on myself. But if I smell it on a man, it's a little bit better. Um, and in the base notes, you're going to get suede, woodsy notes and musk. Suede, I don't get, luckily. Uh, I think it's more like in here to make the fragrance last a little bit longer. Uh, woodsy notes and musk, I do get. But mostly, mostly <laughs> I get cucumbers, melon and orange. Really nice. Okay, so... Really, this is a fragrance that you're gonna wear while you're doing sports outdoors or something like that. Just, you won't really impress someone with this fragrance, but it's just good. It's very pleasant. If it's like super hot, what it is right now in Dubai, like you go outside and it's like, 
<laughs> like it's, it's like that hot right here. It's like 40 degrees, do you say that? Or 40 graden. I don't know how do you say that. Let's see in English. I will put it somewhere. How do you say that? But that's you like, it's suffocating. And if someone then wears this, oh, it's so nice. It's like a breeze of fresh air and watery cucumbers and melon. Thank you. You smell nice. That's what this is. It's more for when you want to be fresh. And also why I have bought this fragrance because on my skin it smells different it's because I'm a woman in case you didn't know or you couldn't see well right now we don't know what what is what anymore right <laughs> but I'm a woman I can say that <laughs> but I got this one because an old colleague of mine he always wore this and every time he passed by me I gave him a compliment this smells amazing on a man Every time when he wore it, I was like, oh my God, you smell so good. He was like, yes, yeah, polo one. It's always, I always wear the polo one. That's why I like it and that's why I got it. Because it's, it's really good for sporty occasions or when it is super hot outside. Then it is a 10 out of a 10. All the other occasions, I would say six. Six out of a 10. You know, you need to know when you need to pull these fragrances off. And then it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so... Longevity and projection, I don't know. I only have it on my skin for two hours, but I will put it right here somewhere. I will write it here how long the projection and longevity is. But I must say projection and longevity is never a problem with me because I spray like above 16 sprays. Like 16 sprays is my minimum. So how much would I spray with this? Easily like 20, 25, maybe even more. I don't count. So uh, if you do that, you have no problem with anything in life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so for now, I will give this fragrance a seven and a half. Seven and a half is good. It's curly approved. I really like it. If you pull it off on the right occasions, it's a 10 out of a 10 easily. All right, guys, and this was my fragrance video of today. Let me know what's your opinion about Polo Blue Eau de Toilette. <laughs> And what is the next fragrance that I need to review? Let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Bye bye.